Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll cover how to differentially correct data in Mississippi using base stations from GCGC. When it comes to differentially correcting data in the state of Mississippi, there seems to be a lack of base stations. And so if you go out to ngs.noaa.gov and you click on the cores map, the map of all the core stations in the United States will show up. What we're going to do is zoom in to the state of Mississippi, and you will see what I'm talking about here. On the west side of the state, there's a big lack of stations. And what that means is if you're trying to get high accuracy data, you need to be as close to a base station as possible. So let's look at Pathfinder Office at a project here. We're going to run the differential correction utility. This data was collected around Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to open up the SSF file. And you can see here it was created on August 11th, around 3.40. It has 48 positions in it. It was collected with an H-star receiver, and it had centimeter output enabled. So this is a centimeter geo. I'm going to next through the screens here, and we're going to come to the base station list. Now you'll see the first one in the list shows up as one mile away in Jackson, Mississippi. However, if we bring up our cores map, you'll notice that there's not a station in Jackson. That station has been decommissioned. Same thing with this Yazoo City station. It has now been decommissioned as a core site. So the closest one to this customer's data is in Tallulah, Louisiana, which is roughly 60 miles away. We're going to click OK. I'm going to hit Next and start to download the base data. Once I have 100% coverage, I'm going to click on Confirm. And it's going to go out and do its processing. Now you can see here the accuracy of this data falls between 15 and 50 centimeters, more on the high end there. We're going to close this out, and I'm going to open up the corrected file. We're going to highlight the point feature here, and under position properties, you'll see the horizontal precision for this specific feature is 32 centimeters. It's roughly one foot accuracy. This was collected with a centimeter unit. So the further you are away from the base station, your accuracy degrades. So what do we need to do? Well, luckily, the Gulf Coast Geospatial Center has a bunch of these base stations on their real-time network. And what we'll do here is we'll just look at their sensor map, and you can see there are base stations spread out roughly every 50 miles. So you can pretty much go anywhere in the state and have fairly close access to a base station. So we do have one right in Jackson, Mississippi. So what we need to do is you'll need to go in and register. I'm going to log in because I already have registered. And then on the left side of the screen here, you'll have the option to choose this reference data shop. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to choose start a new order. We're going to try this top option, continuously operating reference station, basically a core station. So we know we have one in Jackson, so we'll scroll down the list. In this case, make sure to choose Jackson, Mississippi, not Jackson, Louisiana. And then we're going to click on Next to go to the time selection. I know this data was collected on August 11th. And I like to grab the whole day's worth of data. So I'm just going to select 0 here to start it at 1 AM. And I'm going to choose a duration of 24 hours. So it'll grab a day's worth of data. And then I'll just leave the interval at 15 seconds. And I'll click on Next to add it to my order. So it has it in my order here. I'm going to highlight it and click on Next. You have the option for them to send it by email. I'm just going to download it right now. So I'm going to click on Generate Data. I'm going to click on Next now that it's been finished. And I'm going to highlight it and say I want to download now. Called Order underscore 5 zip. So we'll browse to that folder. I'm going to grab this zip folder. I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to go into my Pathfinder Office project folder here. And I'm going to go into the base folder. 
and I'm going to paste this zip file, and I'm actually going to extract it. All right, so to verify, we go back into the project folder, click on base, order five, and you'll see your navigation file and your observation file. That is the base data. So let's try to run this again. So I'm going to choose the differential correction wizard icon here. I'm going to have to add the SSF file back in. And I'm going to go to next, next, next. And now this time I'm going to choose folder search. I'm going to choose to browse to my base data that we just downloaded. So it's under C, GNSS project, and this particular customer base and it's under order number five, and I will click OK. Now here's what you gotta watch out for, reference position. This particular base station's in Jackson, it's not this course Tallulah, so I'm gonna choose reference position from base files. It's gonna assume the datum of whatever those base files are in. In this case, they are storing their data as NAD 83 2011, but you'll need to verify. So I'm going to click on Next, and then Start. And it should say 100% coverage, and I'll click on Confirm. And now the customer is seeing the accuracy that he should expect out of his Geo Explorer centimeter. He's got 0 to 5 centimeter in there. So let's hit Close, and now we'll go open up this particular core file, and we'll highlight the feature. So you can now see his horizontal precision. Just to recap, we'll go back out to the web. We'll go back out to their sensor map. So as you can see here, here's all the base stations in the GCGC -GC network. Here are the stations in the cores map. So they only have a handful around the north and the east. So I recommend that you try this out, create an account, find you a base station, give it a try. If you have any questions, give NEI support a call at 1-800-949-1446, and we'll get you fixed up. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you, and have a great day.